Hello, this is going to be a quick first impressions video of the game. I read some reviews before installing the game, and the general consensus is that the game's not very good. Being a big Adventure Time fan myself, I'm hopeful that I'm going to get some enjoyment out of playing this. You can tell straight away from looking at the title screen that it's a console port. The game was developed by WayForward. I believe the last PC game or PC port that they made was DuckTales Remastered back in August. And before we begin the game, let's check out the option screen and see what there is on offer. Definitely very well, very limited, which is would be expected from a console port. The game is a, a 3D isometric dungeon crawl, a bit like the original Diablo. The only multiplayer is local co-op, which for the console versions, you know, the Xbox Live version, um, etc. would be pretty neat, but for a PC, local multiplayer on a PC, on the same PC, no, yeah, that could be difficult. Yeah, got some movies and some BMO minigames to unlock. I start the game. It's supposed to have a number of playable characters. I mean, you can see from the start, you can have um, Finn, Jake, Marceline, and Sidman Burn. You're supposed to have others like Ice King, Flame Princess, Lemon Grab. Peppermint Butler, which is a DLC item, um, but not from the start, so maybe you unlock those, but of course let's go with Thin Human. Okay team, these prisoners are a serious problem. Not only are they taking our stuff, but several citizens of the Candy Kingdom have disappeared recently, and I suspect foul play. On top of that, most of the kingdom's treasure is missing, too. They must be stockpiling it down there. We need to make a calculated strike on the secret royal dungeon. The escaped prisoners can't know we're coming. Right now, they're scattered. Alone. Afraid. We can't allow them to organize. Makes sense. That said, we should take some time and go over gameplay basics. Please follow me. Yes, yeah, so let's, um... Let's get into it, shall we? It's supposed to be about, oh, well, from what I read, it's like 100 dungeons. Every 10 dungeons you get a boss mob. And it's supposed to be incredibly repetitive, but I guess, I mean, I've been a big fan of Adventure Time for a long time, the cartoon at least. Definitely a cool cartoon. Let's see. So you're ready then? I really appreciate the help. It's too bad important royal business prevents me from doing this myself. But I'll stay in communication via the hollow pendant. It will also allow me to teleport you to the surface every few floors. I think. Before you go into the dungeon, I'll let you equip various tokens. You don't have any yet, though, because they're found in dungeons. Oh, any treasure you find is yours to spend until you re-enter the dungeon. At that point, I'll need to collect leftover treasure as taxes. Good luck. <laughs> Nom. Terrible look, you know, for what it is. Well, what do we got here? Well, definitely very basic. Yeah. 
Cha-ching! Starting to look like this map is the whole level, and the one black part is the one part I haven't been. So yeah, very basic map. Very basic map. Yeah, I think I can see why, you know, it didn't get much, as far as radiance is concerned. I'm guessing, I'm guessing there's not too much else to it than, than what we have. Let's check out a kitten gun. is only level two but you know already extremely repetitive and there's two levels in and if it continues like this through every level yeah I guess maybe we'll get bigger levels but you know we'll see I'll try and at least play to um, one of the, the first part open up I figure, I think it's every 10 levels is a boss, so we'll see. If it is every 10 levels, um, definitely won't have gameplay for all of, the, all of it. I'll just snip, snip it here and there. Oh, what is this one? Really throwing eggs. Okay, 
on floor five. Um, wanted to show you the special attack finesse. Not quite sure, it's a bit weird. <laughs> this is it. Magic. <laughs> I mean, what the heck? Shaching. Kind of curious to see the other character specials after seeing that. Half medical. Well, what do we got yeah. here? Up to floor five. The maps are similar size, very similar layout. There's a the rest of it. One new enemy type, which is a bird. These birds here that dart at you. Repetitive. Uh, just want to see a ball. Down, 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 to down, to down, down. Hey, checkpoint. Okay, so every five level, after five levels, you can return. I'm going to go back and um, try changing characters. Okay, we're on floor six, and I've switched to Peppermint Butler to um, check out him. He's got a range attack, which is pretty neat. I want to see you special. This is, without a doubt, Candy Kingdom treasure. Battler. I can see why he's a DLC character. I mean, currently, I've only tried two characters, but I mean, with this, with him and his ranged attack, I really never get hit by anything. You say you shouldn't get hit by anything. Well, well. If it isn't one or more heroes. Okay, floor 10, the first boss. I've been saving Mr. My Peppermint, um, his special, just to um, see what it does on the boss. You must be the ne'er do well that's responsible. Afraid not. My stay in this dungeon has hardened me, honed my senses to a razor's edge. I can predict nearly anything you do before you think to consider it. My eyes will perceive the endless part, and once you lie broken, dizzy, I will extract your bones. <laughs> This isn't really challenging, but you know. I'll use your back fat as a pillow. Maybe it would be more so as a melee, but with this tune. Yay, we 
doesn't look lumpy to princess. I have something I need you to take care of. Since you'll be in the area. I'm sorry to hear I that. I can jump you. I'm totally ready to crash this party. What am I? Let's try one more time. I think in Gunter, he looks pretty cool. And he's probably ranged too. After beating the boss on the tenth level, you open up a shop, so maybe the tokens are of some use. What else is a merchant to say? Ah, oh, you buy keys, food, or weapons you found. I'd be remiss if I. The statistic might you be. All right then, perhaps. Excellent. Wank. And he moves fast. But he can't move over water. That's pretty. He's a penguin. Of course, he can move over water. Wank. Something's wrong here. Wank. Second, I'm thinking he's saying oink, oink, and he thinks he's a pig. The next second, I'm sounds like he's saying wank. 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 A strange little penguin. Wank. Okay, you've been playing a little bit of Jake. Let's check out his. Don't mind if check I out do. his special. Special is pretty lame. It just summoned a weapon. Is that it, really? For me? Come on. Let's check out cinnamon buns. Gotcha. Special. Okay, his special just gives him food. I'm liking Lumpy Space Princess. Um, got at least health, but if moves fast, can float over gaps, and has a range attack. Let's see what the special's like. Hopefully, something does damage and not something just gives us a buff like that. Let's go. Focus reaching. That's pretty good. Uh, 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 u
Hotel Bride. Filling up my dump truck. Ah! Ah! To wrap up this first impressions video, um, I like the, I definitely like the 16-bit art style of the game. It definitely fits with an Adventure Time game. Open! As an Adventure Time fan, I'm having fun with it, but it's definitely very repetitive, and it's definitely not for everyone. If you're not an Adventure Time fan, and you're only going to play single player, you know, you don't have the ability to play the local multiplayer co-op, then it's probably not, it's probably definitely not for you. It's a shame about the multiplayer, I mean with it being local co-op only, because I can see this being incredible fun, you know, with a couple of friends. It probably is on Xbox Live, and if you've got on Live with a bunch of friends around, you can, I can see you having fun with this. As a fan of the series, I pretty well, I like the game, but it's not something that that I could recommend any, anyone to get. I mean, I'll p I play in it. I'm not going to finish it, but I, in time, I, I'm sure I will get to the end because I want to unlock the other characters. But it's definitely for the price you pay, which is I think it's thirty pounds on Steam or forty dollars, which pretty much is um t like a full, you know, pretty much the price of a full new AAA game and for this it, you know, there's no comparison this is a budget game you know if it was like um, 20 20 dollars maybe even 30 dollars you know 15 20 pound then you know that would fit quite well and for that price I would you know I mean what I would recommend it to people to like adventure time but for the price it is I just couldn't recommend it I mean I'm not regretting buying the game um, I like the series I like, like the game style. It's very repetitive, as I said, as I'm getting to now. But you know, I'll I'll get my money's worth out of it. A little bit of a letdown <laughs> after wanting a good game based on Adventure Time for such a you know such a long while. But who knows? Maybe there'll be more. But at least, at the very least, I mean, one big positive out there is they've got the voice characters from the show to. Um, the voice actors to voice all the characters here, which is a definite plus. That's not something I kind of expected, but it's a definite bonus. Thanks for watching.